Hello YouTube! Now this is obviously a top 10 video as you can tell from the giant image I have shown right here. But I have a couple of quick announcements to make before I start. And probably wondering why I haven't recorded in a really long time. And don't really want to talk about it but I'm just all I feel like saying is that I'm not really allowed to record too much and this is one of the first chances I'm getting and this is going to be a very short video and I'm going to be making more videos soon very soon hopefully um, and I don't know if this video will include my intro or not and if you're noticing I have not included my intro in a lot of my videos lately and the reason that is is because I downloaded a new editing software and it mainly just takes only the audio and blacks out the whole entire just everything in the video itself just the only the audio is good in my editing software so it depends with what I'm recording I know for a fact it does not agree with Minecraft which is the main thing on my channel so I either I'm stuck in a position where I don't have a lot of time right now to record and I really can't and at the same time I don't have a lot of time to do research on what to do so in the little bit of time I don't feel like doing the research and I need to do the research and if I can't find a way to fix it then I'm just gonna have to switch to something else and this is stuff I have to do very soon very quickly and I have a lot of stuff I need to do that kind of outranks it as a priority so I really can't do that right now although I really want to so this is going to be the top 10 video of my top 10 favorite cartoons now this is these are going to be the rules the cartoon can be cancelled it's fully allowed to be a cancelled series and all these images are free to use images that I found on Google so there may be something weird with the image so just keep that in mind and that's about it so Number 10, the very, um, oh, right, one more rule is that it's not in any particular order. It's mainly just in the order of, this is my number one favorite show, oh, this is a really great show, oh yeah, I like this, it's kind of in that order of it actually is a real top 10 thing, but all of the shows I really like, as in, these are all shows where I've seen every single episode so I really enjoy all these videos so it's not in <laughs> it's a bunch of series that I really enjoy that I've seen every single episode of so I'm not saying I like one more than the other although in some cases that kind of is true but keep in mind I actually do enjoy every single one of these and have watched probably every single episode um, except for I think one show where I haven't watched too much of basically I had a friend explain all of it to me and I really like it for its concept so number 10 from the bottom of the list is going to be Spider-Man as in the ultimate Spider-Man TV series now where it says number 2 I said that it was free to use images and what happened with that is this was the best image I could find for Ultimate Spider-Man even though it has a giant number two on it so I apologize for this giant number two over here but Ultimate Spider-Man is one of my favorite shows it has a lot of action in it some humor and I've seen every single episode of it and there's just like a lot of suspense put into the episodes so I might be biased towards this one because I am a huge Marvel slash DC fan. I'm a fan of both. Um, 
Sometimes I like one more than the other. It's kind of weird. Um, just at some periods of time I'll feel like a really huge DC fan. Some periods of time I'll feel like a really huge Marvel fan. I'm honestly a fan of both, and I really like this show. And you will actually see, um, I think this might be the only Marvel show on here, but you will see some DC animated stuff on here as well. Phineas and Ferb. Now, this is the only image I could find, and I uh, apologize for it being just a uh, DVD box, but um, I had very uh, slim choices with this image. But Phineas and Ferb is one of my favorite TV series out there. I've watched every single episode. Um, my favorite part about Phineas and Ferb um, was actually the movie Phineas and Ferb Across the Second Dimension. And then the episode they had after that, which was what happened in the second dimension after the movie. Just Those were probably my favorite parts of Phineas and Ferb. I mean, I also did watch the part where the Marvel collided with Phineas and Ferb. I really enjoyed watching that too, and that was also another movie, sort of. Um, but I mean, with the second dimension, I remember I was obsessed with that. I, I remember I got the book for it too, and I remember reading the book being disappointed because it was exactly the same lines as in the as in the movie, and I could have just read that and just imagined the movie in my head, so a little bit of a disappointment there. I mean, for people who like to read books then watch the movie, it really is disappointing to see that. Uh, sorry about spoiler alerts for that, by the way. But, uh, Phineas and Ferb is just one of my favorite TV shows. Um, it repeats the same pattern every single episode, but in this show, it actually isn't bad for doing that. I mean, in most TV series where they just repeat the same pattern over and over and over again, it gets to be annoying. Especially in Sonic Boom. Uh, sorry for those of you who enjoy that show, but when I watched the TV series Sonic Boom, I just always thought of them fighting Eggman as being kind of annoying, because I was really waiting for the fact that when they first started the show, that they had Shadow the Hedgehog as a character, you could actually do like an IMBD search and it pull up Shadow as a character, and then they waited like years to actually put him in the show. So that kind of annoying me, it was just the same pattern, so I just lost interest in the show. But of course I did watch the episode with Shadow, which was a pretty good one. But just them repeating the same patterns over and over again, that kind of led me to not like this the show so much, but with Phineas and Ferb, I don't feel the same way. I feel like they actually have, a, they're more justified in doing it because there's always um, new and new things done with it. I mean, yeah, there's small twists here and there. Same thing can be said with Sonic Boom, but Phineas and Ferb, I feel like, is just more justified in it. So. That's why Phineas and Ferb runs a spot on the list, and I honestly can't think of anyone who doesn't like Phineas and Ferb. So next is Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated. I'm going to zoom in on the image a little bit here. Now this is an image for the online Cartoon Network game. I could not find a better image, so just ignore this stuff off the side, except for the title, where it just says Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated. Scooby-Doo um, Mystery Incorporated it was one of my favorite shows. I watched every single episode, and I got really annoyed at the end when they had, um, I'll, I don't want to spoil it, but um, if you want to avoid spoilers, um, skip, just skip to where I'm on the next one, because this whole entire tangent's just going to be nothing but a spoiler alert, so, um... And the thing that bothered me with this show was that the very ending, the very last episode, I believe, they had all of the plantospheric discs, which was these discs that they had to put all of their effort into finding in every single episode they tried to find towards the last season, and they finally had the disc. 
whole entire disc and they asked now what and that was it just the ending was put on such a huge cliffhanger and it was never resolved and that really just always bothered me and then I remember thinking there was another episode after that where just the whole entire gang fell apart and they tried to reunite and there was a mess with that and the Plant Spirit disc plotline was almost completely dropped in that episode. So, just the ending of it was horrible, but I enjoyed every single episode. So, it earns a spot on the list, even though I have mixed feelings about it. Next is X-Men Evolution. Now... It was a very odd picture, but it was the only one I could find with most of the characters. And this show, I think, came out in the nineteen, like late 1990s, which was before I was born. But I've watched most of these episodes on YouTube. I don't think I've seen every single episode, but I've seen most. And I really enjoyed this series. And just seeing the character development... And just the adventures that they go on and the stuff that they do as mutants is just really awesome. So I really think that this is a great TV series, and especially since there's also humor in it. So I thought of it as being a great TV series. And it is definitely canceled. It's been canceled for years. Um, although I'm wrong when I said I don't think there's any other Marvel shows because I forgot that I put this one on the list. I remember I made the list earlier. Oh, when did I make this list? Okay, I. <laughs> okay, I forgot when I made this list. It was somewhere between the time where I stopped recording and somewhere today. So, somewhere in that gap, I made the list. Um, so I forgot that I had this one. But this is a really good TV series. If you uh, want to watch it, I believe it's under a weird channel called like. 1970s choice, something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, you could watch the episodes there. Just, um, I think you can find it by doing a search for X Men Evolution. Um, I used to watch Wolverine the X Men on YouTube, and that's how I found it. So, it was a really good TV series. I enjoyed watching it on YouTube. Um, Next is Batman Beyond. Now, for those of you who've watched this show, I'm aware this is an incredibly over-exaggerated image. It was fan art. If you read right here, um, let me see. I don't know if it's getting into the video or not, but um, you can see where it says Deviant Art right there. This is fan-made art. This actually isn't from the show, so. Keep that in mind. I couldn't find that many good images of the show. Um, Batman Beyond is a show that I watched every single episode of, and I really enjoyed watching it. Um, for those of you who don't know what the show is, uh, skip ahead to the next entry, because the rest of this kind of is a spoiler on just the plot line of the show. If you're aware of what that is, it's not going to be a spoiler alert. I won't go any further. But the plot line is that it takes place in the future where Batman, Bruce Wayne, that version of Batman, has grown old. And I wouldn't say like on the verge of death or anything like that old. Just too old to fight as much as he used to. So he can kind of defend for himself but not really and he has to find someone who can be the next Batman and he ended up getting beaten up once where a boy named a teenager named Terry McGinnis uh, stopped the people that were beating him up and eventually he becomes the next Batman known as Batman Beyond there was also a movie called, I think it was Return of the Joker. 
and that's about it. Now, one thing I like just about this is that, um, I'm sorry if I mess up the pronunciation of this actor, but Terry McGinnis is voiced by, I believe, um, the way you pronounce it is Will Fradel, who uh, played as Eric in a show called Boy Meets World. I watched probably every single episode from that, even though it definitely wasn't around, <laughs> hasn't been around um, since it's being canceled from before I was even born. It was a show that my parents watched when they were kids, but it's still on a couple of channels for all the reruns, and I've probably watched almost the whole entire series just off of that. It's a good show. I didn't feel like putting it on the list, though, just because of all these shows being kind of um, more edgier, kind of better, more modern. Just for those reasons, I decided not to not put it on the list. But yeah, uh, person that was Batman Beyond used to be on Boy Meets World, and also, um, and for those of you who don't know what that shows, it's basically if you know what Girl Meets World was. It was the show that happened before it. <laughs> so, that's a good little explanation. Although, personally, I enjoy Boy Meets World a lot more than Girl Meets World. Um, and if you like Girl Meets World more than Boy Meets World, that's fine. This is just my opinion. Now, the voice actor for Eric from Boy Meets World and Harry Miggins is also the voice actor of Star-Lord in the Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy series. And um, just any animated version of Star-Lord. Um, I know that Star-Lord from Hulk and the Agents of Smash for like the one time appearance is also Will Frail. I don't know if that's it. I believe it is. I can't think of anything else. But I do like that he's taking on a lot of fictional superhero roles, and I hope that he continues doing that. So, next up is Static Shock. <laughs> another, uh, well this is fan art, but um, another DC show. And you can see right here the person's signature who made this. Don't know who that is. Um, so... Stag Shock and Batman Beyond, if you didn't know, had a crossover. Sorry about that. Yeah, there was a crossover. I'm not going to go into details on that. Stag Shock, um, I've watched a lot of the episodes on YouTube. Uh, but I've seen a lot of Stag Shock episodes, and I've enjoyed all the ones that I could possibly find. It's just a great series, and I wish it had been canceled. I know for a fact this one was around um, when I was born, but um, I never knew it as being an actual show, probably just because of the channels I watched. But I know that one of my friends saw it when he was like, like little. Uh, it had to be like early two thousands. That'd be it. And that would probably be how my uh, one of my friends remembers it, but I had to like remind him of the character for him them to remember they watched the show, whereas I had just watched it all on YouTube recently. <laughs> well, not recently now, but at the time it w was recent that I'd watched it. Now, Stag Shock is one of the most underrated DC characters I can think of. He has TV series that got cancelled pretty early on, then he had a comic book series I think a couple of years ago, and it got cancelled pretty early on, and there just isn't a whole lot of him, that's about it. Um, there's like a little cheap toy you could probably find on eBay of him. I would not call it an action figure necessarily, if you're looking for an action figure, uh good luck. And if you're looking for him in Lego form, good luck to you there also. I don't. I think he only comes up in Lego form probably about once every couple of months as being a custom. 
same thing with action figures. I believe you can only yeah you can only get him as a custom because he never was made into an actual action figure. Um, and I believe at this point there is no marketing plans with this character whatsoever, which is a really big disappointment. But he is, this show is just one of my favorite shows. I really enjoyed watching it. And, oh, okay, I need to explain this one. So this is going to be three images, and they're all one entry. So, just to recap here, we have um, number 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, four, four. Keep that in mind. This is all number four. Now, the reason why is because when Looney Tunes got canceled, it just ended. Um, there was a bunch of Looney Tune based spin-offs, and I have seen just about every single spin-off. Now, I don't know if Tiny Tunes was before Looney Tunes or not, but I watched that too. I just think of Looney Tunes as being more original than that. Um, I remember thinking there was like a baby Looney Tunes and thinking it was horrible and why would anyone ever watch it. Sorry for any of those who enjoy that show. I remember thinking it was meant for like little kids. Um, but the, these three spin-offs of Looney Tunes I really thought were great. So, the first Looney Tunes spin-off I could think of that was great was Duck Dodgers. Now, he was towards the bottom for a good reason. And that's because it's a show all about Daffy Duck. You were probably expecting a Bugs Bunny uh, knockoff. Not a Daffy Duck knockoff. But no, Daffy Duck in space, in tights, trying to stop Martians. That's the plot to the whole entire series. With Porky Pig, who's also in tights. Now, I liked watching the show because it was basically Daffy Duck in a future timeline with Porky, with there being comedy, with them fighting Martians. Looking back on it, I don't know. It is the concept doesn't seem right anymore. But um, I definitely enjoyed watching this show. It was a it was a really good show. But. There's a reason why it was the bottom one of the Looney Tunes spinoffs. Now, next is the Looney Tunes show. Now, the Looney Tunes show, I really enjoyed watching. There was a lot of comedy, and the plot line to it is, it's just like Looney Tunes. Except for, they live in the suburbs, and, um... Just, it's more of, like, all of the Looney Tune characters living in a neighborhood together. And Daffy Duck is broke and is living in the same house as Bugs. And, uh, the Tasmanian Devil is their pet. <laughs> and just about every single character is their neighbor or live somewhat near them. Except for uh, Roadrunner and Wiley e. Coyote, who they actually stuck with their original characters, as in they still chase each other. But the difference is that it's more of a 3D style, which is kind of weird. But it's not towards the bottom because I don't like it. It's because of the next show on the list. Lunatics Unleashed. Now, this one's on here, just checking my time, um, um, okay, yikes, um, so Lunatics Unleashed is on the list because it's just awesome. 
Now I could not find a better image, so I apologize for that, but Lunatics Unleashed is essentially the characters Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Lola, Taz, Roadrunner, and Wiley e. Coyote all in the future as superheroes. <laughs> the concept of just that is awesome. And I've watched every single episode, I think, on YouTube. I don't know if the show was around when I was born. It may have existed before I was born. Or if it did exist while I've been alive, I somehow never saw it. So... I'm imagining this show was cancelled early on, um, the only merchandise I can think of for it is, there was like, um, McDonald's toys with it, and that's it, um, it probably, I don't think it was, the moment it got cancelled, I don't think it was ever revived from that point on. The reason I like it is the reason that every people... Ah. Sorry. The reason I like it is for the same reason that everyone hates it. And that reason is that... They take a lot of the humor and drain it out by making them heroes and giving them a serious role. Which to a lot of people, ruins the Looney Tune characters. Now, I'm biased towards this one, and I know it, because I like watching a lot of superhero-based stuff, so, in my opinion, I think it actually sort of improved it in a way. And seeing them with these serious roles kind of made it better in a weird way. Now, I know with Teen Titans and Teen Titans Go and Young Justice, just those three together, it's a different perspective. Especially if you watch the Teen Titans episode about seriousness. I'm not a big fan of Teen Titans Go. I've seen a couple episodes, but in my opinion, Young Justice and Teen Titans are better. Now, there was a couple of episodes of Teen Titans Go that I don't mind watching, but I really don't like that show, to be honest. And the reason I'm saying this is because there's an episode where they question how serious they are, and Teen Titans Go is not serious, but neither is Looney Tunes, and comparing those two is a horrible comparison, and that's the point I'm trying to make. Now, if you like Teen Titans Go and you like Looney Tunes, um, I don't, this is my opinion, and I enjoy watching both, so keep that in mind. And next is Sonic X. Now, this show kind of was a little bit of a disappointment, for, and here's why. Now, I watched every single episode. I really enjoyed watching this series. And I remember there were two seasons. Basically, season one being where Song has been introduced to Earth, basically. Because I think it started out with him being in another dimension, which was weird. Um, and then season two being known as the Metarex Saga. And where... They basically had to fight aliens that were robots, is the best way to explain it. It gets confusing, but if you watch the whole entire series, it makes sense-ish. <laughs> and there's been a lot of fan-made images of the show. I know that there's a fan-made image of Silver the Hedgehog, and there's a fan-made image of both Shadow the Hedgehog with Mephilus. Those images, I believe, are both fan-made, although they are really, really convincing. Because I saw that, and I thought that there was a new season, so 
I made sure to record the Sonic X as a series, and then realized that it was just repeats of episodes I'd already watched from the very beginning. So then I realized that those images were fake, and that Sonic X repeats itself right now on TV. I don't, they might have just stopped and pulled it off, but I remember after the Metarex saga ended, which was the last season, they then decided to repeat the whole entire show in loops. I don't know how long that's been going on for, but that's the last time I've ever watched Sonic X, and that was a couple years ago. But I watched every single episode, and I really enjoyed watching it. And next on the list is The Flash. Now, I have seen most episodes. I'm personally waiting for The Flash to the next season to come out on Netflix to finish watching it. Um, I don't even, I don't even know what episode I'm on right now. I know I'm not really too much in season one anymore, but I don't know how much I'm into season two. It's kind of weird, but, uh, that's about it for Flash. I really enjoyed watching this one. Um, some parts of it are very enjoyable, and some parts of it are very serious. So... I don't know what this means to most people with me having a scale of serious and enjoyable, but that's really all I can say about it. I mean, you have a TV series about The Flash, Barry Allen being The Flash, and it can be in a very serious and dramatic tone, and sometimes it can be in a very uh, non-serious tone. So... It can be either or. And either way, I enjoy watching every single episode of this series. And next on the list is Rick and Morty. Now, I said that there was one show where I did not watch too much of it, or any of it, and that I only know the concept. Now, I only know the concept of Rick and Morty, and I had a friend, Zone Wolf. This is Minecraft username. His channel is ZoneWolf-5DS. He has more subscribers than me somehow. Um, and his name's Aiden. Now, he has explained the concept to me, the roles of the characters, and I understand um, just about the whole entire show. And just the concept of uh, Rick and Morty is really awesome, and we're actually going to be doing a Rick and Morty roleplay where I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be the voice of Rick, and my friend Ada will be the voice of Morty. Um, we're going to be figuring out other roles soon, hopefully, maybe. Um, I've been, I've made every single Minecraft skin, so no one has to worry about that. I don't think I've told them yet that I did that, so hopefully they're not worrying about that, but, um, just saying for, uh, I know Aiden, you're probably watching this right now, uh, I know that my other two friends that are probably going to be involved in this, that they don't watch our videos, which is sad, but Aiden, you for watching this right now, um, yeah, you're going to be stuck voice acting for Morty, and don't worry about making Minecraft skins. I'll probably put a text message out saying not to worry about that. I've made all of them. So, that's about it for Rick and Morty, and next is the number one show on the list. If I remember that I need to zoom out. Okay, Gravity Falls. Now, this was somehow a free-to-use image, uh, but Gravity Falls is awesome. Just every single episode of it I've enjoyed. Honestly, there's only one episode I can think of um, that I enjoyed watching, but in comparison, it's not the best episode in my opinion. That'd be the Love God episode, but... 
other than that, I mean, even that episode I enjoyed watching, just in comparison, I don't like it that much. But, I mean, I'd much rather watch that than anything else. So, Gravity Falls is a series that I'm addicted to. Um, I was very disappointed when it was cancelled, but I enjoyed watching the finale. I've seen every single episode, and if I had um, a bit of time, like probably a good 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, I could probably recite all the episodes in order, because I remember um, when I'd have an episode of Gravity Falls, I'd watch, ev- I'd watch the episode multiple times when it came out until the next one until the next episode came out and i noticed stuff um i noticed like little details that i didn't notice before and just the characters in the show are awesome the secrets you learn throughout the show are awesome and um to kind of judge besides me being able to list almost every single episode I also own a uh, Dipper hat and the book, The Real Life Journal, which, if you don't have that book, I really recommend uh, getting it. Just everything about Gravity Falls is awesome. I wish they would reboot the show and put it back on Disney. It was one of the best, it's probably, it is the best Disney show I've ever seen. And I watched it from the very start. It is my favorite show. I remember um, in middle school that I said that my favorite show was Lab Rats. Um, That was just because I didn't want to say that my favorite show was a Disney show. But looking back on it, I kind of regret that. Because although Gravity Falls is a Disney show, it's not exactly meant for kids, I would say. Um, so, Gravity Falls, in my opinion, is the best TV show slash cartoon out there that you can ever find. Um, now I just have to come up with something to watch besides Gravity Falls. (laughs) Well, I mean, on the bright side, I'm going to be going to school soon, so I won't have too much time for anything else anyways, so that sort of bright side, although it's sad, but um, Gravity Falls is definitely easily my number one favorite cartoon that I've ever watched, just the character development is awesome, I've just every single episode I've really enjoyed watching and if you've never seen a single episode of this show I really strongly recommend finding it somehow um just every single episode this is awesome and straight from the very beginning it's awesome I mean, you actually learn some, there's very, there's a very huge cliffhanger in the very beginning, literally, the first episode has a huge cliffhanger at the ending, and it's just a show with a lot of humor, a lot of mystery, a lot of character development, just everything about the show, in my opinion, is awesome. Now, this is going to be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, Leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment. What is your favorite cartoon? It would be a great comment. Just list whatever it is. Um, Personally, uh, I don't watch any of the Adult Swim or any of those type of shows that fit in that genre. Hence why I said I don't watch Rick and Morty, because I don't. So, just 
everything about the show is awesome. And I kind of wanted to say that just to put a perspective on the type of shows that I watch. If you watch those kinds of shows, that's great. I mean, feel free to put something like that in the in the comments below. I just don't want to see a whole lot of that and just people putting like a top five list of Family Guy um, and a bunch of shows similar to that. I really can't think of anything like other than that. I, I just only know I know the names of the shows because I flipped through channels and that's about it. Um, I don't know the concepts of them, but I know the names of them. Just I don't want to see like a top five list of them and saying this is what you should have done. I don't want to see a whole lot of that, but I definitely want to see, in your opinion, what your favorite cartoon show is. And I know that a lot of the shows on this list were superhero based. Whatever TV show or cartoon is your favorite, it does not have to be a superhero based cartoon show. Now, if your favorite show is superhero based, then that's great. I, I just don't want to see a whole lot of shows that are the exact same thing as what I chose. Now, if you're being, I just, if your favorite show actually is superhero based or it's Gravity Falls, then I'm not going to be mad when I see it because I just want everyone to be honest here. And if your favorite show is an Adult Swim show, then put that in the comment too. I'm, I just want to read what everyone's favorite uh, cartoon show is. And, um,. Hopefully, I'm going to be recording soon. And real quickly, for a quick announcement, I want to just say I'm going to be recording daily, even though I'm going to be in school. Well, I'm going to be uploading daily, I should say. I'm basically, I've last year and probably every single year I've been in school, I've decided to make Sunday just a day where I can do whatever I feel like doing. So, I'm essentially going to use Sunday as a recording day, where I'm going to record for a couple hours so that I can just slowly upload videos throughout the week. So, I'm going to be uploading daily, but I'm only recording on one day a week. So, nothing about my channel will actually change. I will still upload daily when I start uploading again. Hopefully I will learn how to use my editing software soon. I really need to do that. And the Rick and Morty roleplay I want to start and should be able to start um, at the latest the first week of school, which is definitely coming up. Um, hold on, I believe our first day of school is, let me see, this upcoming Monday. So, just putting perspective on that, um, basically the county that I live in decided to shorten the summer by, I think, a week. So a lot of other counties where I, in the state I live, just everyone's going back to school ahead a week later than I am. Now, I should still be able to record for the first week of school because it's mainly just paperwork that you get, but regardless, I'm going to be uploading daily, just not recording daily. Nothing will actually visually change other than me not having my intro, which should hopefully be resolved soon. And that's about it for the video. I'm going to end it here. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe. That's about it. Bye!